There's a storm of brewing. I think it's something beginning with a G. Gareth, Gareth, Graham, one of them. Anyway, it's on its way in. We've got a move today because we've been here for more than two weeks. Well, a day over. We're a day over. So we're going to move on, get ourselves to Crook, turn round and head back towards Apley Bridge. We've done the car shuffle, well, the first half. So let's hope this engine starts and runs exactly as she's supposed to. Yeah, with that plume of smoke, she started. She's not been started for a week or so, so took a bit more thing. I think we're gonna do glow plugs next. Should have pressed record then. Yes, we're about, about 18 minutes away from Crook. Uh, we're gonna go turn round that crook unless there's really good mooring and parking there and then come back and go back towards Ackley Bridge if we like crook and like the look of it we'll stop there maybe tonight and go and get the cars it's only 18 minutes walk apparently but we'll see oh cup of tea time oh thanks love Now, I don't know about you, but whenever I see barbed wire fencing surrounding some big mound of earth, the kid in me comes out and wants to go and explore and see what it actually is. I should get one of them uh, drone things and fly it up in the air. I think we're still at some time anyway. Looks like a bit of an overflow, is it called a biowash? Could be a biowash. It's an overflow anyway. Just over there where that tree line is there. Down the waffy hand. And I think that section there, bear with me. I think that bit there, I think that's the River Douglas. Um, back there I can just see the sides have been stepped down. I think that's what they call the canalised section. It's amazing it's lasted so long really. It's been shut as commercial navigation for many, many years. As my granddaughter would say, you fell over. There we go, Ellie Billy. You fell over. Looks like a few of them are going to do that soon. There we are, that's the River Douglas there. At least I hope it is. I think this is a windy knoll, so I think we might turn around here, which is well short of where we thought we were going to be. Looks wide enough, let's do it. glimpse of crook really I don't remember this section that well my job's been three years um, but we turned there and I did a damn good job 
all that black marks in the water you saw that was um, silt when I was, I was churning up silt as I was turning because the propeller was on well I had fairly good throttle on quarter throttle on to get me round and probably nobody turned around there for a great while but there we are that's that done we're heading back now Ackley Bridge We've got Dean Lock first, we'll fill up with water and then Ackley Bridge. It's about past three so it's going dark here. We've actually had the longest day. Not the longest day, the shortest day, that's it. Uh, that was the 21st of December. Um, we were hoping, me and Debbie were hoping to go down to Stonehenge to the winter solstice but unfortunately things didn't go our way for that so Maybe next year. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll be going dark about quarter past half past four. The nights should start to get lighter from now until June, mid June. So that's something to look forward to. Summer is coming. I don't know if you can see through the trees, but there you are. That's uh, that other side of the bank. There looks like it's been raised up at some point. But you never know which bit's the original river and which bit isn't. And we're not so far away from where we started off to be honest. In fact, a couple of hundred yards and we'll be there. I'm not sure if we're going to get there in time but I don't really want to do Dean Lock in the dark again. At least I'm not my own, on my own this time. Debbie's with us. Because it's quite a deep lock that one. It's double lock as well. So, and it's slippy and everything because it's winter time, it's cold. And I keep forgetting to pick up the right size windlass usually. So, that's all when we get there, we've still got a bit of daylight. So up ahead is, uh, us today there's a storm blowing in. Okay that's Cathurst Viaduct coming up and then there's a railway viaduct as well. Is it viaduct if it's railway? Yes it is. So we're not far away from Dean Lock and the rain's coming in just what we need. Probably camera work for this. have to clean this roof off. Well that's pretty handy, we can go straight into the lock. Somebody's left the gates open, lovely. Probably folded in on itself, I'm not sure if it's working. So I don't think there'll be much more filming today. Right, well you can you can tell how much it's raining so I better put this away because there's going to be trouble if I don't, it'll get all wet. Not sure how or why but looks like that gate paddle there is knackered and somebody has left the ground paddle open so it's filling up quicker than we're emptying it. Rain's died down a bit, I really must put all that timber in that box getting in the way. Maybe I should do it now instead of filming things. We're going that way. 
That is a lovely sight. The noise makes me want to pee. behind us Cafe Bridge there and we're coming up on the starboard side it might be the wrong way around because I'm on mirror image thing on this phone but on the starboard side to me is um, the abandoned locks Just about make him out in the dark. <laughs> Look at all that nice shiny arm coal there. That's only just gone in that. I don't think that was there the other week when we were coming up. That's very pretty. Just beyond it there, that is the River Douglas. Now we're through the lock and we got water, we nearly filled up, but we're gonna be moving quite a bit over the, the new year, first weeks of new year because I'm working in Preston so I need to be nearer to there really. Um, over the next couple of miles, I think it's a mile or two we've got to go. Um, two swing bridges to get through, one quite close to Alfley Bridge and another one just a bit further back. I think they're both foot bridges, but I'm not entirely sure. The first one might be a, a car bridge, a, a treat a vehicle bridge. But don't um, don't quote me on that one. Situation well sit rep on the engine with temperatures just below 80 the oil pressure is around about 50 psi and the battery is pretty much full by the looks of this thing. It's not, it's just bang in the middle. So, yeah, we seem to be going okay. There's not much smoke coming from the engine anymore, only really when I give it any real beans, you know what I mean. Other than that, she's fairly on. Ah, now this uh, this might be the first swing bridge here, which is uh, a farm one, and it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's always open, so that might be the first one. I knew there was two, but I couldn't remember if there was, one of them was a car one. I know there's definitely a pedestrian one. Palisade fencing all along here and I don't know why, but I want to know why. I don't know if any of you ever really cruise at night. I love it. You seem it's quieter and you see a bit more wildlife. The only problem I've got is the lighting's a bit bad. Bridge has actually been renewed fairly recently by the looks of things. Well, the rails have, guardrails have. All shiny. Okay. Lovely, that, lovely. Might have done the planks as well. Can't really tell it's dark. should have done before we left Dean Lock and the water point is gone for a week because that, that bio wash up's coming over. Yeah. 
brought on there, yeah. Well, you know how earlier I was saying there's only two swing bridges, well there's another one. That makes it three. I'm hoping that I'm right and there is another one at the front there, but you never know. This one looks a bit more rusty. <laughs> I think someone's clattered into that one. There they are, it was a right eventually. Just coming into view. Well in my view, I don't know if you can see it. But there's a swing bridge there. It's a footbridge. I'll start slowing down, Debbie can up it for us and we're in. The officer's getting key. <laughs> There she goes. Ha, ha, ha.